All right, so this is pretty much, well, I'm not really sure what it is. Um, but I figured that I might as well talk with you practically face to face. So there's a reason why I haven't been as active on YouTube. It's nothing to do with the platform or the community themselves or rather two more or anything like that. It's simply because of a family issue right here back at home. So what ended up happening is yesterday was Mother's Day, Sunday. A week prior to that, uh, I promised myself I wouldn't cry remaking this video, but there's almost no chances for it. What ended up happening last Sunday was I went to work because I covered for the other third shifter because he had an emergency. Our third shift is 11 p.m. to 7 in the morning. As you could imagine, I wasn't home. Shocker. Kit Kat loves to go outside. He's an indoor cat, but he loves to go outside time to time. You know, who could blame him? We let him out every so often. Usually it's around, like, back here. Uh, this is the front yard. You're not going to see much of it. Usually we would let him out. He'd be able to be kept an eye on, and he'll come right back when we call him. And if not, he comes right back um, five or ten minutes later. Well, that Sunday last week, it was two or three in the morning. Kit Kat, uh wanted to go out and so my dad my dad let him out on the back porch it's all fenced in it's uh shut in it's high enough to where the animals my dog and my cat are not able to jump over it yes even the cat but apparently it wasn't fenced in good enough there was a hole in the fencing somewhere and we used chicken wire to like several layers of chicken wire to the point where kit kat would not be able to squeeze through any of the holes. But unfortunately, it seemed like there was a hole in those two layers, and so he was able to get out somehow, or he was able to somehow scoot his way underneath because cats are persistent, resilient bastards. This is two or three in the morning. I'm not home to make sure that Kit Kat gets in. And as much as I want to blame myself because I should have been home, it was natural. It was something that was eventually going to happen, I think. Kit Kat was 13 years old, and he was a Maine Coon. If you know anything about Maine Coons, Maine Coons live from 9 to 15, average of 10 to 13. And since he was 13 years old, it was uh, pretty much ending up at that point. It's pretty much where yeah, that, that was going. I come home at 7 in the morning... Mom walks out the front door right there, as a matter of fact. I parked my car right here. Usually, she's like, she's talking to the dog and the cat. Look, your boy is home. He's finally home. You don't have to worry about, you know, you don't have to be scared through the night that he's not going to come home. She did not say that this time. She went outside, like, right outside this window. And as soon as I got out, I asked her what's wrong because she had a troubled look on her face. She said to me that Kit Kat went missing. I immediately put my things inside the house, went around the back in front of the yard and everything like that, calling his name as loud as I could at 7 in the morning. Checked deep into the woods back there in the backyard, and I got no response. Maine Coons are talkative cats, especially when they want something. And him being out for five hours with basically no food, no water, no sleep, at the very least, he would have some energy, I think, to meow for his family to come get him. Because he did not like being picked up. But I'm sure at the end of the day, if he needed to be, he would let you pick him up for his safety. He would always let mom pick him up. He'd sometimes let me pick him up. I never really picked him up. He would let my younger brother sometimes pick him up. So he would have let one of us pick him up to bring him back inside the house. Well, there was nothing absolutely zero we went to that side of the house over there i don't know if you can see my arm right here but i'm pointing with my left hand at that side of the house and um we noticed that on one of the trees a branch had freshly broken off 
we had noticed that there were a bunch of disturbed leaves as well. It didn't rain that hard or was windy at all the night before. The branch was not that tiny enough to where it would just be a squirrel. And the amount of disturbance of the leaves on the ground underneath the tree begged to differ that it was not a squirrel. We think that something chased him up the tree and him being a 13 year old cat, he can't really fight anymore. So he fled. He wouldn't just flee like that and not return. He knows where home is. When he used to live with another family, when he was like three years old, he wasn't home for like three days and he found his way back home immediately. Well, it's been a week and there's been zero signs of Kit Kat. I planned on making the dog reveal around first 2k then 3k then 5k and I planned on showing my dog and you know I would go pet Kit Kat and because we had the dog first and she was always used to just me giving her attention she would have freaked out a little bit and you know got in front of me and Kit Kat from me petting her. Unfortunately, I cannot do that anymore. I would love to show those two in the same video. I kind of wish I did. But unfortunately, it's the way things are. I'm not blaming myself for not being home. I'm not blaming dad. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm not blaming Kit Kat, not blaming mom, not blaming my brother, sister, anybody. If anything, I would blame myself, and I've gotten over that point over the course of the week. This is actually the second video I'm making about this. I'm scrapping the first video, but that's not important. What's important is that you guys know why I haven't been active, because I've been mourning, grieving, and overall still trying to find Kit Kat. And as it's been one week, four days over his longest time away i'm starting to believe well, i mean i was always starting to believe after that third day that he wasn't going to come home i i even from the first night knowing that that tree branch over there had in fact not had just wind disturbance or rain i i i just feel like something had happened to him something that got him now luckily there wasn't any signs of him being hurt there wasn't any signs of blood thankfully there was no signs of uh kicked up dirt or anything like that the one thing that i will say is i do wish that it was easier to find him i do wish that we were able to find him i do wish i did not have to make this video but i'm i'm doing it for mainly closure for myself but also to keep you guys informative not because i want you guys to know everything that happens in my life but because i want you guys to know why i haven't streamed or anything like that because usually on the weekends at the very least i would stream that's also a big reason as to why i didn't upload that seventh day on the seventh day we were having such a good run and then suddenly you know just like that it's not there anymore suddenly that seventh day just isn't within our grasp you guys expected the whole week through and through i expected the whole week through and through and we didn't get that that's not what's important what's important is me being with my family during this time me being with my mom during this time because she was she was heartbroken when Kit Kat disappeared she was heartbroken when the thought of him even being dead came up. It is life, but losing a family member is never an easy subject. Losing a family member is never an easy passing. With the way that it's going, hell, he could turn up a week from now. That'd be amazing. That'd be great. I would be able, I, I'd be so excited to make a reverse video of this saying he's actually alive. He's right here. But unfortunately, I doubt that that's going to happen. And I've come to terms with it. I expected this to happen. I didn't expect it to happen this soon. Because we only had him three years. But then again, it's because he's my first cat ever and my only cat ever. It just was a nice feeling to have a cat. As nice as it would be to have another cat, I 
doubt we're going to have one anytime soon. If anything, Crystal and I are going to own a cat or adopt one whenever uh, we move in together. Whenever that may be. Seven years from now? 10? 20? Who knows? But point being is, I love that cat. I never really knew what he wanted. Him being my first cat, I never really understand what they want. I know they want food. I know they want water. I know they want love and attention. But other than that, I don't know what the hell cats want, man. I wish I knew what cats wanted. That would have made this so much easier the past three years. He'd be meowing at me. And it's like, what do you want, buddy? Oh, you, you got water right here. Oh, that's not what you want. You want food? You got food right here. That's not what you want. You want me to pet you? And then when I go to pet him, he like runs away. And I would follow him to see what he wanted, but he would just lead me nowhere. He just lead me to a weird part of the house we never found any mice or rats and it might be because he might have killed them but there was never really any signs of him killing any mice or rats so realistically i have no idea what he wanted as much as i love that cat as much as i am thankful to my dad for being willing to adopt him and thankful to my mother for even suggesting we get a cat eventually this time was going to come and unfortunately it was a week ago from today i'll try to finish up uh day seven i'll try to finish up any other videos i get and i'll try to stream some more but i still have no chances on that because i'm still very busy but other than that i just wanted to allow a quick update video for you guys i wanted to explain why i haven't been active and you get a kind of face reveal not really uh that's still at 1 million if we ever get it. But you kind of know what I look like. And also, that's probably going to be like the only video that's like this. I probably will not make another video like this again. By the way, uh, yeah, this is my flannel. You've seen it sometimes. I also got a flannel, Yushanka. Very nice. I love it. 10 out of 10. I just want to end it off on a lighter note like that. Funnier note. Make sure that spirits are still high and uh enjoy the only video I have of Kit Kat on the channel with that 1000 subscriber milestone. And I'm sorry that I was not able to get another video of him on the channel. But maybe it was for the best that there was only one video. Unfortunately, that's just how life goes. And maybe one day we'll get a cat named Oreo. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Hmm. Can you believe it, boy? We did it. We did it. Why are you tucked all the way back here? We did it. We did it, boy. We got 1,000. Wow. Can you believe it?